Creativity is not the prerogative of writers, directors, and musicians. Working in knowledge-based industries, all of us should understand where ideas come from and how to better work through them. I have some, well, ideas on the topic. So first of all, forget the lonely genius. The creative process in the modern world is a collective process. And the idea journey from generation to implementation is a shared experience. Its success also depends on the people we choose to travel with. Our personal networks include people emotionally close to us, like friends and partners. And these are the so-called strong ties. But they also include simple acquaintances. And these are the so-called weak ties. In a paper with Jill Perry Smith, we find experimental evidence that in the first phase of the journey, idea generation, we should activate weak ties. Distant people expose us to unusual and stimulating points of view and perspectives, those stimulating the generation of novel ideas. However, during the next phase, idea elaboration, strong ties are the best choice. They tend to focus on our idea, building on it and criticizing it in constructive ways. So what happens if we pick the wrong ties? Well, if we rely on strong ties in the generation phase, we risk getting only homogeneous views and perspectives, and those coming up with pursuing mediocre ideas. However, if we rely on weak ties in the elaboration phase, we risk being distracted by additional continuous stimuli or being discouraged by unfounded criticism, and we could abandon great ideas. So we know that we need both weak and strong ties, and switching from weak to strong as we progress in the journey. The solution seems simple, right? Build a larger network that includes both and switch as needed. Well, it is not that easy. Large networks are difficult for us to manage cognitively. In our study, we show that this engenders the paradoxical consequence that they exacerbate our natural tendency to rely almost exclusively on stronger ties, those we are more familiar with. And not only this, they increase fixation, reducing the likelihood that we switch from one tie to another as we move in the idea journey. So is all hope lost? Not necessarily. These detrimental effects of large networks, in fact, are true only when people perceive risk to be high. So summing up, if you're a knowledge worker, remember to consciously activate weak ties when you're searching for a new idea and strong ties when you're elaborating it. Having a large network might not be enough. If you manage knowledge workers, work actively to make them feel psychologically safe as they engage in the creative process. Never make them think that the creative process is a risky endeavor.